Hi, I'm Bob Michaels, and I'm the host of Tacoma's Elder Care Channel, what I think is the finest source of news and information about issues that affect elders. Today we're with Peggy and Robin from Allied Health Advocates, and we're going to be discussing what's a, called med medical or medical advocacy, is that correct? Um, medical advocacy is um, a concept that I'm not familiar with as an attorney. I understand the concept, I just haven't heard it referred to as medical advocacy. So we thought it'd be fun to have uh, Robin and Peggy in today to tell us all about it. So why don't you guys introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about uh, Allied, and, uh, and then tell us what is medical advocacy. Okay, so I'm Robin Shapiro, and I'm a co-founder of Allied Health Advocates. We were founded in 2008 with my partner, Beth Dropper, who's a nurse. I'm here with Peggy, um, Peggy Anderson, who's a nurse uh, based here in Tacoma. And we founded the company because Beth really was going with family and friends to the doctor, to the hospital, and she really found that when she accompanied patients, it really improved their medical decision making. And she felt like everybody should have a nurse on their side. So what we do is we provide medical and health advocacy directly to patients and also employees. So sometimes we work with employer groups um, to provide that. So if you're in the hospital, if you're at the doctor's office, you're confused or wanting more information about your diagnosis, what kind of medical decisions, there's a nurse health advocate who's available. Wow, so tell us how you come into contact with your clients or how someone would contact you and then how does that process develop? So a lot of our clients find us on the internet. Um, we're at www.ahadvocates.com, or they call us. Is it okay to give our phone number? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. our phone number is 206-377-3000. And typically, patients find us because either they're in the hospital and something is going terribly wrong, and they don't really know what options they have, um, or they anticipate that they're going to have to make a medical decision. So for instance, somebody who has a cancer diagnosis and wants to make sure that they're getting a second opinion, making sure that they're hearing all the information, we know that patients, when they leave the doctor's office, forget 80% of what happened in that doctor visit. So if you have a health advocate by your side, you can make sure that you have all the information that you need and make sure that all of your questions are answered. Oh, that's super. Now, do you, are you mainly contacted by um, people requiring the care or does a family member contact you? So that's a great question. Yeah, it's, it's really both. So sometimes family members call us, especially with their uh, elderly parents. Um, sometimes people call us, you know, kids who live out of town, their parents are here in the Washington State area, and they want somebody to accompany their mom or dad to a doctor visit, or they're in the hospital and they can't get there right away, and they'd like to, us to show up. And sometimes it's the patient themselves, sometimes it's a parent who's child needs health advocacy. Super. Now let's talk about mechanics a little bit. So someone uh, calls you and, and uh, I guess they're having some problems with a family member accompanying them or whatever, they just want an advocate for them. Uh, Walk how us through do we start? Yeah, how do yeah. we start? Do they come okay. in and see you? Do you go see them? Do you sign a contract? How are you paid? Those kind of things. Okay, sure. So typically how we start is with an in-person assessment, one of three levels, and that depends on how much time we spend with somebody, typically how difficult their case is. So $250, $500, or $750. $750 relates to up to five hours of work, and we need to sign a letter of agreement, which says what we do and what we don't do, as well as a HIPAA privacy authorization. So most people are familiar with privacy authorization. That's the form that you fill out when you go to any medical provider, and um, we need to make sure that we can take their medical information so that that's needed to be signed. And then after that, 
we charge $150 an hour or $75 in travel fees. And it really varies how many hours we're spending with clients depending on how complicated their case. And you would think that um, only people with complicated cases would contact us, but that's actually not the case. We had a case of somebody who was undergoing IV sedation for, for a dental procedure, young person, who called us, just wanted one of our nurse advocates to be there in the office so that um, if anything went wrong, somebody was there and to safely accompany him home and make sure that discharge instructions were were communicated to his family. And sometimes it's an issue of maybe five hours totally takes care of the problem, helps someone through a crisis, and other times we might, we might be retained for months if not years. Mm -hmm. So it can be a very short-term situation or long-term, long we can be involved in either of those scenarios. Yeah, that brings up a good, a good um, example as well. For some people who have a, a parent who has multiple medical conditions, they might have a home care caregiver. Um, what we do is we oversee all of the medical aspects of that patient. So we might go in once a week, twice a week, see the patient. We would accompany them to the doctor's office. We would be in contact with the doctor in case blood pressures or other measures uh, get out of whack. So. Now the fees, are they, any of that covered through insurance or um, Medicare? Unfortunately, not yet. And we, we don't know if our fees will be covered. Um, sometimes employer sponsors plans that, um, that take care of the fees for their employees. Um, but right now, insurance does not cover private health advocacy. We're hoping, though, in the future. Super. Now, geographically, we're currently sitting in, in our office here in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, I know your office is mainly out of Seattle and you service Tacoma, but why don't you give us a description of the geographical area that you service? And so we are actually the first health advocacy company in Washington State, and we have coverage throughout the state, and our advocates are based out of locations like Tacoma and Port Orchard and Spokane. Spokane. We have a couple advocates that cover that area in Idaho, and sometimes Idaho. So, um, and this is a really new industry. So, while a lot well, of people have you're never, right, I couldn't even say yeah. it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, so people, most people don't know what health advocates yeah. are because yeah. there aren't that many of them. We're really some of the first people that are doing this work. But what clients should really think about is that when they hire a health advocate, primarily they're hiring a nurse, a physician's assistant. We also have insurance advocates. Um, you want somebody with some kind of medical background because they're able to really communicate with the doctor, the nurse, and the medical providers. Right. Well, I'm really excited about it. I'm around seniors uh, all day long and you know, they, they have so many questions about not only their particular diagnosis or their particular uh, health status, but they also just how the system works yes. and how to navigate that system. And it's really nice to know that they have, would have a, uh, someone in their corner looking out after their best interest from an objective standpoint. It's sometimes scary, some of the diagnosis is whether, uh, you know, someone gets diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's or dementia and it's, it's a scary diagnosis and it's nice to know they have somebody that can explain that process and kind of how it will go. Um, so I just think what you do is absolutely exciting. Now, how have you been received by the, let's say the medical providers, the doctors, the, the hospitals? Have, have they been receptive to medical advocacy? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And um, you know, you would think maybe they would they, they wouldn't be, but actually our medical system is very challenging for the providers as well. Right. They're only reimbursed for a certain amount of time, and so when they see that their patients are in the care of a health advocate, um, while we do not provide direct medical care, we don't make medical decisions, that's the doctor's perspective and their purview, what we do is we make sure that they have the support that they need after they leave the doctor office or after they leave the hospital. Yeah. So, And an example of that, of how we can be helpful in that situation is um, I had a client that I, I accompanied to the doctor. Before we went to the doctor, we 
talked on the phone and we talked in person and we decided, okay, what were her three top priorities? So we, I, we had them listed on paper, what were the three things she really wanted covered, she really was concerned about. So we went in, we were able to have a really efficient doctor's appointment. Right. And then I took notes the whole time so that when we left, I could document everything that, that she said, everything that the, the doctor had said. And so she had a really clear picture of what had happened in that appointment. And the doctor was grateful because she, there wasn't a lot of wasted time as the client was trying to figure out what to ask. Or be very emotional because, you know, the medical system, let's face it, it can be deadly. So, and we know that it's a, being, going into the hospital is the um, hospital preventable medical errors or the third leading cause of death. Wow. So, which is kind of crazy to yeah. think about. Yeah. Now, following up, I would think would be a great uh, reason to utilize your service as well as uh, just your retention of records and uh, helping them access. I have plenty of seniors who uh, have a hard time organizing their paperwork and so they may go in and see their doctor or be given written instructions and they have a difficult time interpreting those number one but number two they'll put them in a stack somewhere and forget mm. them. Is that part of your role to uh, follow up with them and see if they uh, have any questions about those or, or whether they're following those or if they flat out lose those paperwork mm -hmm. they call you to Sure, them. yeah, we um, keep records of all the documents that we work with with our clients and we also have something called a NAVI binder which actually is customized for our clients and has all of their paperwork organized and so that's standard uh, something that we would provide to our patients. Wow. Super. And and it also just depends upon what they want us to do for them. If they mm -hmm. want us to help them do that, we can do that. We we really are there for them mm -hmm. to do whatever they need done. Good, good, great. Well, I hope you've learned about medical advocacy. Uh, I know I've learned how to say it much better than we <laughs> started. Uh, with Beth and Peggy, it's been just super having you here. Is there anything final? Or a, final a few final thoughts that you'd like to share with us? Well, health advocacy and the health advocacy movement is all about empowering people to make the best decisions for themselves. And so that's what we're all about. Um, people are going to be hearing a lot more about health advocacy in the future, and we're delighted to be on the front edge of this amazing field. Super. And why don't you give us your contact information one more time? Okay. It's Allied Health Advocates. Our website is www haadvocates.com and our phone number is 206-377-3000. Great. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.